allow me to walk you through the gut and brain interactions and the role of ghrelin. Here is a healthy gastrointestinal tract with the brain, esophagus, and stomach. You can see how the nerves connect the brain to the stomach. Now, after a meal, nerve signals travel from the hypothalamus, which is located at the bottom of the brain, all the way to the stomach through the vagus nerve. This results in stomach muscle contractions and eventually gastric emptying. Ghrelin is produced mainly by the stomach. Ghrelin travels in three different ways. One through spreading locally in the stomach to engage with receptors along the stomach wall. Second, ghrelin is absorbed into the bloodstream and circulates and reaches the brain where it may interact with receptors on the hypothalamus. Thirdly, ghrelin travels to the hypothalamus directly through the vagus nerve. The interaction of ghrelin with receptors then sends a signal back to the vagus nerve to the extrinsic nerve plexus, which ultimately stimulates movement of the stomach. Here you can see changes at the microscopic level within the stomach wall and how the ghrelinergic cells along the lining of the stomach are working. Within the muscle wall are specialized cells called the interstitial cells of Kahal or ICC as well as enteric nerves, branches of innervating nerves, and others along the stomach wall and a blood vessel. The ghrelinergic cells produce ghrelin. Some of the ghrelin travels through the blood vessels and nerves to the brain. Others are electrical signals that travel back through the innervating nerves and the enteric nerves and engage with the interstitial cells of Kahal, resulting in stomach contractions. Also located along the stomach wall are ghrelin receptors where ghrelin activates stomach motility at a local level. Finally here you can see the interaction of ghrelin with the growth hormone secretagogue receptors in the brain. Now let's examine the changes in a patient with diabetic gastroparesis. Patients with diabetic gastroparesis have nerve damage from diabetes. Therefore, the nerve signals are weak and dysfunctional. Hence, when ghrelin is released by the stomach, it cannot travel up in an orderly and quick manner to reach the hypothalamus. Because the vagus nerve is weak and non-functioning, ghrelin that does not enter the brain is unable to activate the signal, resulting in poor gastric emptying. When ghrelin is administered from outside, it can bypass this damaged nerve signaling pathway and directly stimulate the ghrelin receptors on the myenteric neurons in the stomach. This in turn will produce active contractions of the stomach muscle, resulting in improved emptying of gastric contents.